Well, hi YouTube. Um, it's a little video of mine. It's about uh, this seven segment display I well developed and built today. Um, basically, it has those nifty seven segment displays, you know, probably from several applications. Well, you could say they're sort of out of date, but uh, I still find them very cool. Well, it's today you could say it's well, it has style. <laughs> you see, my um, power supply here has also those seven segment displays, and uh, so what I did is building this display. I switch off the light so you can see it a little more uh, clearly. So they are quite bright, and this is a good thing because um, a multiplex displays tend to be not as bright as they could be, but I think I managed quite well. Um, this is just a little proof of concept uh, software that is installed later. I plan by via SPI to be able to individually set each of those digits with a single byte uh, via the SPI interface. So this isn't done yet, but um, at least um, the concept um, yes uh, of the circuit is, is done already. So this is the circuit diagram for this uh, circuit I have shown you, based on that Mega 8 Darlington array, right? Um, let's have a little glimpse on the board, back side of the board. Looks like this. Well, it was uh, was quite some work. It has a lot of, of bridges there beneath the displays. So well still I think it is quite nifty. So uh the basic principle uh is it's a multiplex driver. This means with those transistors you always choose one display that is currently active. And and here this is uh, those are the seven segments plus the decimal point which are uh, encoded here on the Darlington array, and you just switch through. So uh, this results in, in uh, well much less port pins you need to drive the whole thing. You need eight port pins for the status, and you need five additional selector pins so to speak so this is comes up to 13 port pins uh, controlling uh, an overall of 40 LED segments well yeah my latest gizmo